Hey everyone, welcome back to step four, video number four in the step-by-step -step process um, that I'm creating for you guys to do Foreskin on your vehicle. So this is our newly acquired uh, Ford Explorer. This is a 14 Explorer Sport. Um, this vehicle is untouched um, so far. So this will be a really good video on uh, how to, uh, I get a lot of questions on, uh, well, I can't find a spreadsheet for my vehicle. I don't know if I can do anything. Um, so you don't necessarily need a spreadsheet to make certain changes. The more popular your vehicle is, the more uh, options you're gonna have that's already built into the program. Uh, people spend a lot of time on this program uh, decoding stuff and then when they come out with updates, it's already in there. So you don't have to go into the as built section and code it yourself. Um, you can just, you know, from a drop down menu, flip to what you want to do and uh, make the change and uh, yeah, be good. So I, uh, like I said, I've never seen a spreadsheet for this. I don't know what we can and can't do. The only thing going into this I know that I want to do is um, when you bump the turn signal stock, it flashes three times. Uh, I'm going to change that to four. I do that on all of our vehicles. So that's really the only thing I know I want to do. Uh, this being a 14, it does not have the digital speedometer either. Uh, typical integration on that didn't happen until 15 with the Fords. Um, but you never know. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to check it out anyway. So another question um, that might come up when you're doing this is... Well, I don't even know where to look. You know, I don't know what any of these modules are. Uh, you know, the biggest thing I'm gonna tell you is just click on it and look. Um, you know, there are certain changes that need certain setting changes in certain, uh, different modules. If you wanna do your global windows open close, um, which are already activated on this vehicle, so I don't need to do it, but you've got two or three modules that you actually have to go into um, and change. Uh, so, you know, there, you gotta get, if it doesn't work and you only change the body control module, that means, you know, you have to go into the, uh, PDM. I don't remember, but I have a video on it anyway that states, uh, this shows you the as built way to do it on an F-150. So anyway, um, yeah, let's jump into this guy and, uh, you know, most of your, most of your stuff is gonna come from your body control module that you're gonna to wanna to mess with. You know, your your daytime running lamps, um, stuff like that. If you wanna change anything on your sync system, it's gonna be your APIM uh, module. And then most of your cluster stuff is the IPC. But anyway, enough talking. Let's dive into this, let's hook it up and uh, check it out. I'm gonna be using the, uh, the counterfeit chip ELS27. Um, cause this guy is fast and like I said, it was free with my very expensive, uh, sync three upgrade kit from F250. All right. So like I said before, I have not, uh, connected to this vehicle at all yet. We got her hooked up to OBE2, plug her into the laptop. All right. So we are going to open up for scan. We're going to go down to the connection symbol. Uh, key is on. No, it's not. This has the key fob, so I'm just gonna push the button twice. All right, so the ignition is now on. Okay. Uh, so it wants me to choose my 14 or my 15. This is a 2014. And then this is the first time that I have connected to this vehicle, so it's gonna naturally take longer because there isn't a saved profile already on my uh, laptop. Oh, here's the profile right here. Yes. And we're ready. You can see it says ready down here at the bottom. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate for you something. Uh, double honk, okay? Your vehicle's running, key fob's in your pocket, you wanna run into the gas station real quick or you forgot something in the house, check this out, this is what happens. Shut your door, honks twice. 
Let's get rid of that. All right. Now, I believe that the double honk is going to be in the body control module. So let's go there. We'll hit play. And uh, this is all your stuff that you can actually change. So your bulb outage. Check this out. Uh, if you put in LEDs, you can actually disable your bulb outages. Um, like your, your left front turn lamp, if you change that to LED, you can just disable that and you'll be good to go. But uh, back to it, let's, let's find this uh, double honk right here, leaving the cabin. Right now it's enabled, so we will go to edit selected, disable, check mark. We'll go down here to right, hit the check mark, bam. Cycle the ignition off and then back on, right? And there. Ignition's back on. Click OK. Uh, this is the while we're in here, we'll just keep keep going down here. So uh, let's see. Stop turn lamp configuration, uh, tire circumference. This uh, where you can actually go in and change your tire size here. Um, so it, typically there aren't a whole lot of options in here. You know, here's here's a few. If you don't run these tires, you can just go ahead and play with your circumference here until uh, until you get to where you want it at. Uh, all right, so that's body control module. Not a whole lot happening in here, to be honest with you. I'm kind of disappointed there. Uh, IPC, let's go in and see, see what's happening here. All right, all-wheel drive gauge, got that in there. Auto lamp delay menu, we got that in there. Uh, seat belt minder, if you want to turn off your seat belt minder, if you break the rules and don't wear your seat belt, you can shut that off. Um, cross traffic alert. Oh man, global windows. This is a this is a tough one to do without a spreadsheet. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. Key in the ignition warning. Um, navigation is enabled on this because it's got it. Uh, parking aid. Rear is enabled. Front is disabled because I don't have it in the front. So. Clicked it too many times there. Rain sensing wipers. Uh, you can't just turn it on and have it activate because the uh, windshield wiper stock does not on this have a uh, automatic setting. So other than that, speedometer calibration for North America. Not a whole lot on this one too, to be honest with you. Uh, and there's no section under here for uh, turn signal flashes, so I guess I'm out of luck. I guess I'm just sticking with three. So let's go down real quick to one more. Uh, we'll go to the APIM. That's a big one that people like to mess with. That's the radio. Uh, ten minute clock after ignition is off. You could enable that if you wanted. Um, let's see. Climate control type. This guy's got the automatic. Hmm, electronic parking brake, external CD, fader and sound menu, front camera, HD radio, we could turn that on if we wanted, but it's kind of pointless in my opinion. Navigation hazard spot warning. Huh, I don't know what that is, but interesting. Radio without ignition is enabled. You could disable that if you don't want your kids jumping in here and listening to the radio and running your battery down. Um, you can adjust your playtime on here. Seatbelt icons. Um, if you've only got them on the on the uh, center console or what? Not the center console. Whatever. Um, on the infotainment center, you can actually put these on there if you don't want just the buttons. Splash screen. This is a big one. All right. Right now it's under default, but you could change this to like the Lincoln Black Label Presidential Raptor. All this stuff here, you could you could switch it to if you want. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna say that that's it right here. Not a whole lot. This is a chance you take. Um, 
though you don't have a spreadsheet you don't really know what's going on so you plug it in and you're honestly I'm kind of disappointed that there's nothing really else on this but got to remember it's a 14 uh, you get into the newer stuff and I bet you there's a lot more stuff that's figured out that you can play around with you know what I mean so but for this session that's it I'm gonna stop I'm gonna go um, down here up here to the car click disconnect and uh, I'm done well guys there you have it this video may well let's let's be honest I'm gonna be 100% honest uh, I was very disappointed with what I can't do on this vehicle without a spreadsheet so you know this may be the new thing of oh you don't you don't need a spreadsheet and everything just go in there and you know from a drop down menu change your settings but if in this case um, let's say I'm new to this I just ordered all my you know my, my adapter from Amazon it came I got the license installed today I'm excited I'm, I'm excited to get in here and see what I can do but I can't find a spreadsheet so I, I connect to the vehicle and <clears throat> disappointed you know you can you can do your studying you can go and compare like certain spreadsheets that you can find for uh, maybe around the same model year <sighs> depending on what you want to do I know a lot of like a lot of stuff a lot of stuff in the IPC changed between 14 uh, actually 13 and 14 and 14 and 15 it, it's just it, it can be disappointing just like this I'm highly disappointed in this but I mean the Ford Explorer is a super popular vehicle why can't I change more stuff on here well it's probably because mine's older it's it's a 14 so there's not a whole lot of people out there trying to decode the stuff and and do it so in this case uh, trying to find a spreadsheet for this vehicle is going to be the best option now you've got a uh, F-150 a newer F-150 or Super Duty there's going to be a lot more options on there uh, you know as far as uh, the edge and flex and stuff like that I think you're going to fall into the same category as this you might have you might be able to go in there and change your splash screen for the APIM. Uh, your daytime running lamps is usually always figured out on this kind of stuff. Um, you know, the double honk we disabled because this has a key fob. Stuff like that, popular stuff is going to be figured out. Um, global windows, that's a tough one. You, you really cannot figure out global windows without a uh, spreadsheet. I tried to on this. I went into the IPC and the body control module. I switched everything over and enabled it and it still wouldn't work so I'm missing something. I hit the unlock once and then on the second time I hit it I want to hold it. So let's do it. Nothing. Without a spreadsheet I don't I, I can't figure it out and I can't find a spreadsheet for this so you got an f-150 or a super duty or you know hook it up you don't know until you hook it up connect it and find out um, but just saying you might have to do more research this isn't just a uh, most cases it's not just a hook it up and make changes and be done and happy so you might get disappointed like me with this but anyway uh, I've got tons of videos on this uh, four scan, but anyway, this is the end of the four part series. I'll have maybe one or two more videos on like extra weird stuff that you can do with the program that you might not think about. Uh, but that'll be down the line because I got some BMW stuff that I got a content that I got to get to for my BMW people. But anyway, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, sorry that it was crappy disappointment, but. Uh, if you go back to my F-150 video on not using a spreadsheet, you can see all the crap you can do on that video. So, until we meet again, guys, later.